Hey friends, Natalie here with Autel Robotics. In this video, we'll cover the basics of taking photos and video with your XSTAR drone. Let's start by removing the gimbal holder and powering on the remote controller and XSTAR. Now, connect to the Starlink app. In the camera view, we can find all the camera information on the right side of the screen. Here, we can see our ISO, shutter speed, the exposure value, what format we're shooting in, and the estimated storage left on your micro SD card. The XSTAR drone offers a lot of tools that most point and shoot cameras offer. Let's start by turning on some of these options. Tap on the camera icon with a wrench, then the gear icon. Here, we'll see a few options for the camera. Let's turn on the histogram. The histogram is often overlooked, but it's one of the most valuable tools the XSTAR has to offer. The histogram will allow us to visually see the lights and darks from the camera. Take a look at the new window that appeared. The right side represents the highlights and the left side represents the shadows. What's left in the middle are the midtones. You can move this window around by simply dragging it to a new location. If the peaks of the histogram are bunched up on the right, it means your photo and videos will be overexposed and appear washed out. If they're all the way to the left, the image will be underexposed and appear too dark. Ideally, you want the peaks of the histogram to stay in the middle of this chart, which is easier said than done. If you're using the automatic settings, you can adjust the exposure value wheel on the right side of the controller to make adjustments automatically. You'll notice that the peaks on the histogram move as we roll the EV wheel. Next, we have the overexposure warning, also known as zebra lines. This feature indicates if part of our image is too bright. Don't worry, these zebra lines won't show up on your raw photos or video. And one last option I like to turn on is the grid lines. These help me compose and frame up my shot. They provide a great guideline to help you follow the classic photography rule of thirds. Now let's take a look at the remote controller. Here we can access some of the main features for the camera. When you're holding the remote controller, near your left index finger, you'll find the record video button. Press once to start recording, and press again to stop recording. Next to your right index finger is the shutter button to take still photos. We can also take photos or video with the Starlink app by tapping on the respective icons on your screen. The wheel on the top left of the controller is the gimbal wheel. This allows us to adjust the pitch of the camera. You can adjust the speed of the gimbal pitch under the remote controller settings. You can also tap on the gimbal pitch icon in the top right of the Starlink app to open a slider bar that controls the camera's pitch. On the top right of the remote controller, we have a playback button, so we can review our recently captured photos or video. Press this once to enter the media library, and you can press this button again to exit the media library, or tap back on the top left of the Starlink app. Next is the exposure value wheel. Let's take a look at the wheel on the top right of the remote controller. This wheel will adjust the exposure value, or EV. The exposure value is a combination of your shutter speed and ISO sensitivity. By default, the XR camera will be set to auto. In this mode, the camera will automatically adjust the ISO sensitivity and the shutter speed together. Notice that when you roll the wheel up, the image will become brighter and the EV will change. Now roll this wheel down and the image will become darker. Always check your EV first when using the auto settings. If your images are washed out or too dark, you may have the EV set incorrectly for your scene. So these are the basics for taking photos and videos with your XSTAR. Check out our next videos to learn more about the advanced settings.